What's up, guys? Frey's Gamer here, and welcome back with, as you bros know it, The Walking Dead Thursdays. So, we got Incredible Batman joining us again. So, you guys, you guys showed a lot of support. I do appreciate that. Um, I bet that was pretty interesting, kind of giving his thoughts and opinions on it, for sure. Because I used to absolutely think The Walking Dead was a dumb zombie show, and now it's one of my top shows of the week. And that's great. Um, but it's also nice, too, like I said, to have um, different people's um, opinions, you know. Um, theories on the show and to kind of give our thoughts and um, how the, the show can go. Is I'm more critical of things. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I meant when I'm watching a TV show. You're I more get, dead serious about I it. I get yeah. pretty critical. If it's stupid, I'll say it's stupid. Right. But I'm walking it barely makes me say it's stupid. There's maybe two or three times that I was like, this is stupid. But then I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's not like other shows where it's like every week I'm like, like I just watched a show this week where I'm like, so she's talking about, oh, he's a good guy. I'm like, no, he's a fucking villain. He, right. Like, I wanted to slap that bitch. I'm like, you motherfucking moron. <laughs> they always go to that one character. She always is a moron, and I hate it. And she, my favorite female character on that show, she's always a, a, a moron, and I hate it. Alrighty then. So, uh, we were just kind of doing a little bit of moving there. Um, but nonetheless, we can get right into the Thursdays. So, um, of course, smash a like if you guys do enjoy this. Obviously, Incredible Batman. Did you guys want to do a season ranked at one point? Yeah, um, actually, that's what we're going to be doing. Of course, subscribe to Incredible Batman Justice. I uh, just get did my, uh, what was my video, first video? Oh, comics. Let me see how many views I got on there. I don't think I got a lot. Definitely check them out. Links will be in the description Wait, right away when I do upload this bad boy. So, um, obviously, we are able to do this a lot earlier, so that makes it nice. Obviously, you can thank my work not having me to come in right away. So, right. that makes it nice. But nonetheless, smash the subscribe button. Of course, on the road 400. Thank you to new subscribers for uh, subscribing. You're part of the Overs Army. <laughs> I need to get more subscribers. I only have two. Yeah, he only has two, which is me and Iron Wolverine. Funny enough. I just, I mean, like, I just made a video. Yes, so definitely do check him out. Um, I'll even leave the link to his video um, in the description as well as his channel. Yeah, so. I might be doing a walk in a video tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow or, uh, so definitely check him out. At least subscribe Saturday. to him. So then at least maybe if you're into a, into that kind of content, definitely. Yeah, I'm more of a comic book guy. So like, I don't usually do much television shows because I I like comics as something new. Not many people do walk in at comics. Right. It's very underrated. Yeah. Um, and I think it would be kind of cool. And, and, and I think that would be great. I mean... If you guys definitely are a big supporter of, I know some of you get Walking Dead fans that do watch Walking Dead Thursdays. I know some of you guys are a comic book supporter. So if you guys definitely want that info, um, definitely yeah, check out I his channel. I want to have him talk about comics. They don't read them. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a, not on the modern I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm only like, going to do it if you if you really I'm on show a big stuff. supportive um, onto it. Then I will definitely do it. I will start buying the issues and start going over them. I'm on volume um, four because I read them online. I get them pretty cheap online. But I'm, it's just, it's just, I'm so far behind at this point, and it's a lot of reading, a lot of time consuming. 32 volumes, I'm on volume 4, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm farther yeah. than you. Yeah, no, you're, you're doing a heck of a lot more. Yeah, because it takes me about a um, week to read a volume, because it's 6. But it's also money-wise, too, because they do cost. No, volume. the volume costs. Depends. Well, I mean, the newer you get, the more expensive they cost. So. The, I'll tell you the volumes cost. Um, about 12 bucks. you got to get 32 to be modernized if you're... In on if you start with the first volume, if you can buy about maybe once a month, like a volume, they're not that they're not that expensive. They do. I'm sure they do get more pricey though as the newer you get. I'm sure and then there's the omnibus that's forty nine. Uh, if you get it at Barnes and Noble, forty nine dollars. If you get it, and it comes with twelve volumes, or you can go to Amazon and it's twenty nine dollars on Amazon, and it comes with forty nine issues, about eight volumes. That's pretty good. Yeah, for all it's just a lot of time consuming. Money can be a, a factor of that for sure. Um, even if I can get some good deals, you know. Like I said, this is this is time consuming, you know. Um, and like I said, I want to make sure that uh, um, that you bros, um, if you guys are really into that, if you guys definitely want me to do it, then I need to have make sure I have enough supporters to make it um, worth like the chance of. Uh, like, nah. Yeah, no, yeah. If it's sure. just a few people, it's just like uh, that's you know, because like I said. Time on my hands is, is very short these you days. You got me doing it. So just um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe to him, like I said. I mean, I'll do um, it because I already got most of the comics on my phone. I can... Yeah. Or it's a lot go. easier for him because he doesn't... You know, he's not buying all this other stuff. Or I love me. comics. I love I got comics. other stuff I'm doing and, and such. I love um, comics. That's yeah. just... what. So, so, reading a comic to me is not a chore. It's fun. Right. So it's, and I don't necessarily consider it as a chore either. 
It's just the fact of uh, having free time to be able to do it. I like comics. Really. That's it's the, the only so. only question, you know what I mean? So I read comics um, every day, so I'm here. Right, yeah. Yeah. The majority of the days. So, um, so yeah, so s- like I said, subscribe to him for that. Um, follow me on my socials and Twitch. Links for everything. Description below, as always. And join my Discord, please. Uh, dear Lord, be part of a community. But, um... Anyways, so we're getting into it. Walking Dead Season 3. Complete review on this bad boy. Um, from top to nacho, obviously spoilers if you guys have not watched season three. Of course, I'm sure most of you already have. So, in this sense, you're good on this. But um, very... if you have not, and if you are new to the series, then definitely click off this video. I have a controversial thing about season three. No, not season three of the series up to that point. Everyone's like season one, two is their favorite season. I would say out of those first beginning seasons, season three is my favorite season. Yeah. It's, Obviously, it's very oh yeah, if you guys want my first uh, season one and season two review, they're on my channel. I'll be um, making a playlist of each one I've done so far. Those are the first two I've done, and uh, I'm just doing each season individually to fully give my honest reviews and, and thoughts of what I thought about the season individually, not as the series as a whole. That's, um, a, that's a hard thing to say what's my favorite season. It's like, yeah. I love... And we're going to be doing a huge walk into Thursdays video on that bad boy. Um, May 31st. I, you know... Um, a uh, possibly. No, we're doing a um. Possibly. We're not doing a series ranked. We're gonna do the ten year of Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're gonna, just gonna yeah. go through every season. Make maybe do a couple um, statements. Thursday, uh, Thursday, the day before that. Um, it depends. Uh, obviously, if I don't have to go to work right away, I don't know. That's a fluctuating on that one because I know I won't. I will have. Let's do work season that four day. that Thursday. Um, yeah. If I don't have. If you don't have work, yeah. Yeah. Let's do season four. Because um, otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose. Like four. It'll be late. It'll be late these days. Um, I might actually. Well, I don't know. It depends. It depends if I get to right. four or not. Um, but we'll figure that out. Um, if the weather is shitty, then obviously I'm gonna have a great chance of being able to do the Thursdays video with him. If not, um, I'll once a month is fine with me. I really don't care. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, of course. Um, because I'm already, like I said, I'm already taking Friday and Saturday off due to the fact of the 40-hour stream for you guys. So, um, that's why I'm, I probably will have to work Thursday. Right. Um, but weather can defend on that. So, um, right. you better pray for it to th- rain on Thursday. I get one a good right. chance. So. Season three. Anyways. Alrighty then. So sorry about that disturbance there. Uh, thanks for the animals being uh, annoying. Anyways, besides that, um, so my honest rating about season three, um, which out of ten, um, hmm. it's nine or eight point five. For me, it's an eight point five or a nine. It's very high. It's there's a few missteps throughout the season that got me a little upset, but it was not like I hate it. Yeah. I would say an honest um, 8.5. Yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm quite critical. When it's something I don't like, I'm not going to like it. Right. I mean, it gets um, me... But I definitely enjoyed Season 3. Actually, Season 3 became a lot more interesting because we had... More this was the fear... This was the first season that we had to really deal with an actual enemy in this case. There's a lot of action. Um, season, two. season 2, not so much. It was more Shane just being crazy and... Getting more dark. More dark, sure, but not not really. I don't consider as a as a as an absolute enemy in that sense. And they still don't think of um, Shane as an enemy because of what uh, Rick. Yeah, he was he was. I, I guess you could say he's an enemy in its own way, but not an enemy like, for instance, the governor. So, um, oh Scott's home. Um. So yeah. I think let's go downstairs and do. All right, here we go. Okay. So sorry about that. We keep getting interruptions. Apparently. Uh, apparently. Sorry. Um. So, um, so our honest, um, so like I said, our honest rating, like I said, was an 8.5. What did you say? 8.5. 8.5 or a 9. It's pretty, very pretty high. Up. It's one of the higher seasons on the show. Yeah. I'd say so. I would say season 2 is an 8. A lot of boring parts of 2. Yeah. A lot of boring parts. Um, okay, so the main, so, so the main concepts of why it was that high, um, I like, like I said, for one of them, the governor, you know, we're meeting, uh, meeting the boy. enemy. Such a strong he was a he was a pretty strong villain uh, to at least start off the series. You know what I mean? To get into the program of having an enemy. He's like a pre Negan. Yeah. Because Negan um, would not have been that good if it wasn't for the governor. And at series. first, he was actually a nice guy. He seemed first, like it. Yeah, yeah, he kind of seemed all right, but then he started just turning evil. You know what I mean? Going against Bashan. And- uh, yeah, then Bashan Mich- attacked him. You know because she really just did not trust him. No, why did she attack him? Because if you knew, the right after she left Woodsbury, she sent Merle and uh, what the 
that Mexican guy, what's his name? Martinez. Yeah. To go attack Pashawn. Right. And that's what started her hating him, and then he took Glenn and Maggie. Right. Almost raped. Yeah. Maggie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Almost raped in that scene. That was pretty crazy. Um, huge on that situation. Um, we got to meet a lot of huge, uh, a lot of new characters, actually. Milton. I like Milton, the scientist. Um, he was trying to find a cure yeah. for the... Yeah, some of those characters were not bad, actually. Not trying to find the cure for uh, the zombies. For the walkers, I thought it was kind of cool. Figuring out what, how neat. they start, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, it's got fair amount of help. Well, Merle comes back, it was a big point. Oh, yes, huge point. That was a huge surprise there. Um, and um, it's just crazy. Um, which that, like I said, that, that kind of made you hype for it. Um, Rick actually meeting the governor, having a conversation with the governor, kind of thing. Them drinking beer, uh, yeah, then drinking beer, and then the conflict, you know, the conflict really. Sky high. Right. The action was great this season. At this point. Um, also, trying to figure out the virus. I think the virus is at this point, right? Or starting to kind of... No, the virus was season four. Oh, that's right. Okay. First so, half of season four um, dealt with the virus. Oh, oh. Season three was also the beginning of them finding out the prison. Yeah, the finding the prison. And the prison was a big prevalent part. Yeah. And that's what killed yes. T-Dog. And that's right. I was getting those two seasons kind of. That's what killed uh, T-Dog and Laurie. Yes. So, um... Kind of figuring out where everything is in the prison. Um, still kind of... Um, we introduced a couple prisoners I like. Start, you know, creating new vegetables and food and such like Axel that. Axel was my favorite prisoner. Until um, they killed that guy. I think go the governor first time fighting him, actually. You know, coming to the prison. Yeah, that was at the prison. With everybody, yeah. And, and, they killed um, one, and the governor killed one of the prisoners named yeah. Axel. It, oh, yeah. I like their that. Sneak Axel. Out, their sneak out there, you know, of actually um, getting away. Introduction to Tyrese and Sasha. Mm -hmm. This is in season three. The nice little um, where everybody was. So some of them were in the woods, you know, and they, and they kind of hid. Um, and they had Glenn and um, oh, Maggie um, sitting there up on the on the that part there. The barn shooting at um, him. And they shooting at him, and then they scared him away. That was crazy. That was pretty. Seeing Daryl with his crossbow. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. There I do. He's part of that too. I'll tell you, season three is when Daryl becomes a more big, right. big becomes a bigger character. Except he was still a little bit in the background, but he got a little bigger in season three, especially oh, yeah. where, because like he's the one who uh, met uh, Judith first, started holding Judith more, oh, yeah. and he called her a little ass kicker. <laughs> yeah, that's Daryl. Oh yeah. Him and Merle. And then, um, Mer uh, and then, huge spoiler on here, um, the governor killing all of his men except for um, Martinez, Martinez, and, and the black, and then the black guy. What's the name? Can't, his name? can't remember his name. Um, but he, was such a he, he had the, yeah, he, I mean, he was, he was big, but not big enough to remember the name. <laughs> like Martinez was. Um, Martinez was a lot more easy to remember that name. Andrew was, was a bigger part um, this season. Yes. Andrew, Andrew I would consider, Andrew. And, I would have considered, people tell me, who would you consider the biggest protagonist? There would be two, Rick and Andrea. Because Andrea dealt with the whole season, was her yeah. in Woodsbury. Yeah, of hers in Woodsbury, and then realized that um, the governor was an asshole. And then decided to try to go back to help Rick, which I give her credit for doing that, you know, because when she finally realized, because sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just don't realize it until until something just snaps in your brain, then the and then you finally her. realize it. Then the governor takes her. And I respect her for trying to run to Rick to tell him what the governor is going to do to actually know ahead of time. No, her and Milton teamed up against yeah. the governor, so the governor killed... But the governor was just too damn smart on that case. The governor and, killed and Milton, being... and then Milton, then, then zombie fly Milton killed Andrea. Right. Then Andrea, to not die, shot herself, and that was the end of the season. Right. So, um, but that basically wraps up that um, season Big three, which, um, um, like I said, pretty good season. besides the talking and everything, Kind of learning the characters and such. What a good, good um, characters. Those were pretty much the big, huge um, the governor's situations. Amazing. Oh, and then introducing Michonne. Introducing Michonne. I big liked one. season three's well. Michonne because season three's Michonne was a character yeah, and then, I first. Oh, then Andrea with Michonne, their relationship there, the their kind friendship. Of well. Yep, the friendship. Yep. Yeah, and I really liked how in season three when we first introduced Michonne, I didn't really trust her. I'm like, I don't trust you. Yeah. Then the more we go, she became like her and she became, Carl. She became like a liking character. Actually. She became a friend in season three with Carl when they went out and met uh, Morgan. In that Morgan episode, they met and her and Michonne. Carl became a little more friend. Yeah. Friendship that becomes like one of the biggest friendships on the show. Her and Carl yep. had like a friendship. Oh yeah, and and that was really good. So that basically basically sums up season three right there. And then 
pretty good season. Um, very good season, like I said, 8.5 out of 10. Um, and um, you let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about season three of the Walking Dead TV series. Um, we'll give your honest opinions on it, what you guys thought about rate out of 10, um, and all that good stuff. And let us know if you think um, it's what are the cool I mean, things you guys would like us to do for the next Walking Dead Thursdays. There's always what new information did you? Um, make? there's a Mashawn season. Season 10 is going to be a Mashawn Legacy. Legacy. So it's possible we could see a little bit more information about Mashawn being alone and how maybe she got to that point 100% because. You know, it, it did explain for the most part of how she got there, but not 100%. Or maybe so it'll explain missing more information, about her son. I believe. Maybe it'll explain more about her son. Yes. Andre. And I do see that for sure. Because I heard it's a legacy series, and uh, you hear the producer, uh, Angela Kang, said, she said at first, Michonne was a loner character, and now she's the leader. Right. One of the leaders of the show. Yep. So they said it would be about her legacy. I'm yep. like, that'd be kind of cool. So seeing that in season 10, which is preferably, um, probably possibly going to happen, at least um, it's going to be pretty cool. Happening. Probably going to be before she leaves um, to go find Rick, which obviously in the, that was in the previous Walking Dead 36. My bad, the two previous. Um, and I, I think that'll be pretty freaking cool to um, see that. Give some a little bit someone more thinks backstory. She, someone for, thinks he might, uh, like a big YouTuber thinks she might die because they're trying to keep us uh, in our on our toes. And if yeah. everyone's predicting her going to the movie. But I said, I don't said think there's a slim chance they might kill her. There is a slim chance, but I don't think it's going to happen. Only because it's a big, it's a huge relationship between Rick and Michonne. And just killing off Michonne um, without Rick even being there. Not even knowing. That's not going to be really a good way to kill People her are to begin you. with. And two. It's going to be like um, another, it's going to be like another pilot of seven. Where you kill Glenn, everyone is I'm upset. Gonna, yes. Everyone yes. got upset. Um, I just don't think that's going to be the right way to go. Or death of Carl. Definitely you know, major yeah, thing. yeah. I, I just don't see that possibly going that way. Um, come on now. <laughs> All right. Then but I mean, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't see it going that way. Um, I think that's just too gruesome, and um, and I think it would be more interesting, and we'd probably get a lot more story out of it if Michonne goes and tries to find Rick, for instance, um, in the movies. And I think that is a lot more possibility um, than just killing her off in the TV series. I just, like think that, I just think that's just too much, man. Um, because she, now she's going to be start playing a bigger role now for the TV show. You know, especially now Judith's in there, too. You got you can't forget about the daughters and Judith, too. You know, because who the hell is going to watch that? You know uh, people I mean? are thinking it's between Aaron or, da or Daryl. See, that's But just, I don't think it's Daryl because Daryl's the... Man. Because, because Daryl's Darryl. already watching. You know, Daryl's already got Carol and then and then you got... Um, Lydia. He watches Lydia. Lydia. And, and it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa there. That's too much. And he, now he's the protagonist. I mean, seeing Aaron watch them, I don't know. I mean, I could see. I, but that maybe, maybe like Aaron could, but I don't know. Because what does like Aaron do? Said, what does I would Darren... just think that would really ruin the fact that you had a couple babies and then your character dies. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So she had RJ. Right. But she's perfectly fine. So the fact that you killed her off because of some dumb zombie, I mean, that's just pretty ridiculous. You know what I mean? Or what if it's the next season's film, The Whisper Killer? We would be mad at The Whisper. I that did that be nuts. Sure. If I could see a whispers killing anyone, it, I would see more likely it would be a lower character. Oh yeah. King Ezekiel, Father yeah. Gabriel. There's Eugene, yeah. Rosita. I mean, this I don't want to see Rosita die, but if it does, I mean, she's not like a Fashawn yeah. character. She's such a side character. I'll be fine watching her. Oh yeah, definitely. Die. It would be like, all right, Lucy was on a character I liked. Right. All right. What I mean, Matt was figured. Bigger, yeah, big, big more plot. But like I said, I don't see any of that gonna happen. Um, I see the most likely, like I said, she's gonna explain a little bit more of her backstory and then probably go and find Rush. Is what I can most likely Maybe in the movies. Yeah. Um, maybe towards the end of the first one, or probably is what I most likely see is in the second one. Because um, so the first one's filming this year. Yeah, and um, that's gonna be kind of crazy to see here coming the first one. Even towards the end of it, you know. I mean, so I would want this movie to more focus on uh, Rick and uh, yeah, because Jadis. he's going to be seeing so many new people. Rick and Jadis. So many new people, them actually arriving to this new supposedly community. And and, um, and don't forget, Jadis is going to be in the movie. Yeah, and then a couple other characters too, um, which I can't think of their names as of right now. But I mean, obviously, you get what I mean. Um, so you know. It, there's just so much that it's got to explain first before you could just bring in Michonne and be like, hey, you know, she's joining the, you know, <laughs> so the bad. movie. I mean, I mean, 
I mean, it's not gonna be mad, but in fact, we're gonna be happy. It's just, I just think they'll be rushing it, be if you know what I mean. They'll be, they'll be rushing so much of it because there's so many more questions and answers that you didn't answer before she even came, you know what I mean? So, um, and plus that would be like, well, how the hell did she figure out that it was, that, that Rick was here that quickly? You know, how the hell did she get there that fast? They'll kind of bring up those kind of questions. And then that's just like, but, but um, nonetheless, that was that information and uh, season three review. I hope you guys enjoy. Smash the like, subscribe for notifications, follow me on my socials, Twitch, join my Discord, subscribe to Incredible Batman, and a link for his first video in the description as well. I mean, I can't believe I don't got any subscribers. Yeah, besides the two, obviously. But yeah, subscribe to him, bro. Since a shout out to him, please do subscribe to him. Um, shout out. To I'll do walking dead videos um, every month. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, yes. So uh, at least give his content and his channel a try at least before you say that that's garbage. You know. Mine's Come more on. comic book oriented. So if you don't like comics, don't watch. Right. So, um, but I mean, like I said, not, give it a try. You might enjoy it. You might find it interesting. I'm know. not going to change what stuff I like to do because people want me to do different things. I like talking about comics. That's what I like to do. Don't be hurt suggesting new things, though. Yeah, I oh. suggest what comics so, you want me to read. I'm so just well, even other things. Other are, things I mean, if you want me to do the walking on TV show. Yeah, or I'm like or like shows, maybe like Grey's Anatomy, you know, or something like that. I don't like Grey's Anatomy. Or um, what's the other ones that you watch? Um, I watch Flash, Supergirl, Arrow. But I already plan to do those this, this summer, right after the seasons wrap yeah, up know. in two so, weeks. Um, so, so, so just new video series, you know. I mean, like I'm fine doing that's the stuff, stuff I'm fine with. But then people tell me I'm sick and tired of hearing people always do this, do something else, and don't do your comic book. I'm like, hell no. Yeah. The stuff I'm into, I'm going to do. Um, if you want to suggest some game videos. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a big gamer. That. I'm not a um, gamer, so they won't happen regularly. No. They'll happen once in a very Once in a while. Bit. And like I said, always keep those suggestions open. Or just watch this channel. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got that. I don't play video games at, my, at all. Yeah. So I'm um, more for a guy who likes talking things about comics, superhero yeah. shows. Because that's stuff I'm into. Like all over my own, you'll find nothing about comic books. You might find history books, conspiracy theories. That's stuff I'm into. Oh, yeah. So, but I'm not videos because I like doing those. They're fun right. for me, but exactly. So yes, yeah, so fun. definitely give this channel a check out. Um, smash the like, like I said, all that good stuff, and um, let me know in the comment section what you guys like to see next Thursday. As always, every Thursday, of course, um, we get the badass Clem series starting tonight, for episode one of the final season. Freaking awesome! We're gonna be mean to every character. You know how it is. Um, Clem's gonna be a badass. I'm gonna be enjoying that a lot. Um, I'm gonna be just mean to everybody and, so, yes, so, so and yes that includes aj so i'm not gonna i'm gonna be a piece of shit to him so as well. glenn's gonna be kind of like if i played the walk because if you watch like my batman series and friday night i'm gonna make sure my dad's cool with it too um tomorrow actually tomorrow night sorry not, not friday night, but yes tomorrow night um i'm gonna make sure that um if my dad's cool with him at least if not hanging out for at least the time that we have you know hours. until like 10 or whatever or um or to spend the night hopefully to spend the night preferably obviously okay. but um, and then he will play the Larkin season one, um, episode one or whatever. We'll get a couple streams in there, videos, maybe a conspiracy. Like my maybe a conspiracy. Might, oh yeah, we might do that Batman season three video that that I did say I was gonna do because I know um, Jordan. Me. Jordan asked me about that. Um, yes, me. I can at least probably confirm that we'll be doing the Batman season three video tomorrow. So like, no, we would rather no. The, well, the more importantly, we'll do either do Batman season three or we're, that's a definite. That, that's a definite. The Batman season three video, that's a definite. Walker Dead is, um, is, is probably just definite, because, you pretty know, much. pretty much, and yeah. Conspiracy theories are maybe. And yeah, the conspiracy is maybe, and other content too is possibly maybe we could do another Batman game or whatever, you know, that Batman. I mean, like, I'm going to say this, if I played Batman season one or two again, like my Batman in those seasons were a badass, because he's sitting there, exactly. he talks shit to everyone, because that's what I... I can read things and I like to get the most oh, stupid yeah, yeah, stuff definitely. and just be a badass. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna end it here. Yeah, so I don't, I don't keep pushing off the time here because I don't know how much more time I have left. Right, just... um, so yeah, smash a like, subscribe, and um, all that good stuff, and subscribe to him. Links for everything below. Just like, just As always, yes, subscribe. God damn it. <laughs> As always, over his gamer, incredible Batman. Sign out. Stay awesome, bro. Bro, fist. <laughs>